no, 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 no. Dash cam. Derek, I know you've missed that. I've missed it. But we had a wonderful summer series with some great speakers. And now we have concluded that. And now we've got the opportunity to get this back going. And thank you for uh, just kind of tuning in here and, and watching Dash Cam with Derek. Now, there are a few things I want to talk about. Some changes we're making. We're going to change the format of our service this Sunday. On September the 13th, we're going to um, have the 9 o'clock service for the 65 years and above. That's going to stay the same. There won't be any changes whatsoever in that. And uh, for the 64 and below, that's where our changes are going to be made. We're going to have a 1015 service. And so we are um, we're trying to get, we had a lot of parents talk about how they are wanting to start some classes for the kids. And so, um, and so we are going to do a 10-15 worship service time and 11-11-15 class time for our kids. And so if you are two, three, four-year-olds, you're going to be in there uh, in the ladies' classroom downstairs. If you are uh, kindergarten through fourth grade, you're going to be with Noah and Tara uh, in the media room. If you are fifth through eighth grade, you're going to be with me and in the fellowship hall. And if you're a teenager, ninth through twelfth, you're going to be with Caleb. If there are any adults that want to participate in class or to be part of class, Bobby Cleveland is going to be teaching a uh, adult class in the auditorium. So we're just going to ask that everybody please wear a mask starting September 13th. It's coming up Sunday. Uh, when you sit down uh, to worship, you can take it off if you want. We just ask that when you get up and you're in uh, the building to make sure your mask is on. And so we're going to try to take some steps of getting the 65 years and older back into the auditorium, but that still may take a while. But we may have a few that want to come earlier and come now since we're going to have class. And so. For uh, their concern and for their safety, we're just going to try to start getting people to wear their mask a lot more. So we're going to ask you to wear your mask on September 13th. We're excited about this. We're excited about starting with some classes. And so uh, I just want to encourage you uh, to be there uh, for the 1015 worship and for our class. Let me ask you this. Is, is Sunday school for class, is it really that important? Do we really need it? I mean, is it something that is beneficial for the next generation of kids? Is it more of a hindrance? Is it something that is really uh, a, has, does it really have a huge impact in our kids having class? I mean, let's be honest, this is not something that we find in the Bible of a direct command of God saying, thou shall have Sunday school class if you know, 11 o'clock. We know that these things started around, you know, the late 1700s. And because of that, you know, people are like, I mean, look, it's not a command. It's it's a burden at times. And, you know, it's, it's more of a hindrance than it is anything else. Well, my question is, is it really? Is, is it really a, a burden? Is it is it really going out of the way to participate in class to be part of class so just for a few minutes I just want to talk about what are some good reasons why you would want your kids and why you would want to be in, in Sunday school class I think the first one is this because you get to n learn about God you get to find out you get to study about who God is in Acts chapter 2 we read at the end after Peter preaches the lesson he uh um, we find out that the church, that the body just constantly gathered together. And they, they met together in homes. They broke bread. They had meals. They fellowshiped. But also it says that they met daily in the temple. Why are they meeting in the temple? To learn about God. And so when I think about that, you got to think about Acts chapter 5. In verse 42, they constantly met in the temple. Why? Because they were teaching and learning about God. It's the same as the Deuteronomy chapter 6. They constantly, in the morning and the evenings, told themselves to love the Lord your God. And to love Him only. It, it is a prayer that they did constantly. 
that there will be no other gods before them, that they will love him and they will keep his commandments. And so when you look at this, of, of, what, of what the church did early in the in, in beginning stages, they constantly met together. Why? Because they wanted to know about God and his son and the sacrifice and what and what he did. That's why in Matthew chapter 28, he calls all the disciples together and he says, Listen, now I want you to go. I want you to go teach all that you have observed. I want you to go into all the world and tell people about it. And, and that's what Bible school is. It is an opportunity to teach our kids. And so when you think about what are some reasons that are good about Sunday school, the very first one has to be is you're getting to teach your kids about God. They're getting to learn about who God is and what he did and what his son did for us. And so, yeah, that's beneficial. That is great for the next generation of kids. And if we deprive our kids of knowing who God is, then shame on us as parents. Second reason why I think it is important for it to be part of Sunday school is it equips our kids. Look, I'm gonna be frank with you. The devil is trying to take our kids. He's gonna use every measure, every means possible to keep your kid from knowing God. He's walking around like a lion. He's used fiery darts. He is the uh, prince of darkness. I mean, this guy. I mean. His whole purpose in life is to get as many people as he can before the Lord comes. And if, and if we're smart as parents, we want to equip our kids with the Word of God that will help fight the devil when he attacks. I mean, my, my boys play tons of sports, man. They love it. Right now, we're in football. And I will equip my boys with the right helmet, with the pads. Man, I, I, I get them ready, man. I want them, I know that's probably not the right mentality, I want them to hurt as many people as they can on the field. I mean, not like really put them in the hospital, but you know, I want them to have the best stuff because I, try, I, I tell them, look, get out there, man, it's a fight. In baseball, man, we, we buy the gloves, we buy you know, the right bat, and we, we equip them for the sport they're playing. If I'm willing to equip my kid for school, buying all the stuff that they need is backpacks, pencils, smart calculators, and you're willing to spend all kinds of money to equip them for education and for sports, why would we not equip our kid to face this world who has the devil trying to take them? And Sunday school is an opportunity to equip your kids, to teach, to learn how to pray, to learn about who the son is, who the what the uh, prophets were and what they did to learn about miracles that Christ did during his time and there's so much stuff that that cried the fruits of the spirit everything that he has taught us equips us for this world today I think another reason why I think Sunday school is so important because it teaches kids uh, order organization that there's structure. I mean, it's so chaos at times that kids really don't have much structure at home. They may not have structure in the school. They may not have structure in their room or anything like that. Well, when they come into Sunday school, it's structure. There's a purpose. There's a plan. And it teaches kids that, hey, life is a little simpler. Life can be accomplished when you have a plan ahead of you, and that's where we're trying to reach at. And so I think that when we try, when we, when, when we meet together and we have class, it's important and it's crucial and it's not a hindrance because we learn about God because we're equipping our kids and because it's structured and kids need structure in their life and I think the last one is this it's fun somewhere down the road somebody had said when you open up the Bible we've got to make it as difficult as possible and we've got to make sure it's not enjoyable. We've got to make sure that it's hard. We've got to make sure that kids fall asleep. All this stuff. No. Sunday school is an opportunity for us as teachers and as parents to open up the Word of God and show our kids how awesome it is. 
and how it's something that you want to be part of your life. We, I mean, we've made it somehow into something where kids are not just jumping up and down for it. And so we've got to take that and show them how beautiful the Word of God is and how beautiful are the feet of those who take that Word of God to others. And so it's fun, it's exciting, it's, it's structured, it's equipping you, and you get to learn about God. What other reason would you want? Those are some pretty good reasons, I would say, of why you would want to come on September the 13th to start class at 11 o'clock. So I want to encourage you to do that. We are going to talk about faith, family, and fellowship throughout the remainder of the year in our classes. And for the first month, we're going to talk about faith. We're going to talk about Hebrews chapter 11. We're going to talk about Enoch. We're going to talk about how he walked with God, how he was taken, how he didn't taste death, or he was taken away from death. And, uh, and we're going to talk about so many others uh, who had faith. Does our faith look like that? Because I'm going to be honest with you. I want my kids to know about what faith is and who had it because it is what sustains you through this life that is difficult. So I want to encourage you to be part of our class, to be part of what is going on at Christian Chapel, services at 1015, classes at 11. We're about to start core activities. We're about to begin the Grub Club. Everything, we're going to be very cautious. We're going to wear masks. But man, we're getting things back going at Christian Chapel. We're excited about it. And we're excited that you're going to be part of it too. So thank you for uh, watching Dash Cam with Derek. I'm looking forward to seeing you on Sunday. Dash Cam.